of them, absolutely, for sure. And it's going to be a small crowd, but a good radio network. Still not playing today. The kickoff will come from John Bacon, who's their reserve place kicker, but is handling kickoffs now. And the ball is in the air. It's a high and short kick that is taken by Thomas on the 12-yard line. He runs it out of the 15 and 20, spinning off a tackle to the 25, ahead to the 30, and down to the 31-yard line. A good run back. But those gloves will certainly help on a day like today. The line of scrimmage is the 31-yard line, and the Hokies will run their fast break offense out of the eye formation and a fumbled snap as Druckenmiller pulled back from center and the ball popped free. It looks like the nose guard had a chance. Look how far he lines up downfield, Mike. The nose guard, now he lines up along the line. They've got a 4-3 defense. Second down and 10. Hokies run the option right, and Druckenmiller keeps, crosses the 35, and he's knocked out of bounds near the 38-yard line by the cornerback, Sam Garns, who got gun look. Now he shifts the backs into the eye. Thomas the tailback. The fullback is Edmonds on third down and three. And here's a give to the fullback. Edmonds, or he never got the ball, did he? No, Druckenmiller is sacked before. Enough blockers to get it. Consequently, they were in the backfield very quickly. Tate is their dangerous return man. John Thomas punt is away. A line drive hit that bounces to Tate on the 25-yard line. And he's knocked down right away by Cornelius White. Only about a yard or so back, he's their leading rusher. And a first down throw from Viverts, and he fires it to the right side where it's caught at the 35. And the receiver is out to near the 40-yard line. That was Anthony Ladd running out. Be critical, and then once you make that break, you can catch the defense off guard. On the 41-yard line, they give it to Kimbrough, and he's swarmed under by J.C. Price and Cornell Brown. He tried to run right, and Kimbrough, their leading rusher. Be honest. It was a loss of three, second down and 13. The ball back at the 38, out of the shotgun. Viverts drops the throw, but Cornell Brown is going to get him, and he throws him down. It is a sack for Cornell Brown, the young man from Lynchburg. He gets his second sack of the season as the offensive line unable to block Cornell. Third down and 21. Okie's in a deep zone. Zibberts drops the pass, fires it over the middle, and it's incomplete. Well shy of the intended receiver, Ladd. The punter is Steve Smith. He's a 5'9 inch junior. And the kick is a very short kick. Larry Green, substituting for Still, is the return man. He lets this punt bounce, and it takes a Cincinnati roll inside the 25 all the way down to the Virginia Tech 23 yard line. So, punter Steve. Win to make it move. So the Hokies start their second series from their own 23-yard line. White and Holmes are the receivers. Out of the eye, they give to Thomas. He runs right up the middle of the 30-yard line, has the first down, a gain of 11, as he's tripped up at the 31-yard line by Chad Hewitt. They're free. to miss five days. The last scrimmage, he didn't get a lot of playing time. That's when Ox got hurt, so he really didn't get a lot of reps in the preseason. Again, Tech runs out of the eye. This time, both receivers are to the left. Here's a give to Thomas again, and he races across the 40, diving ahead to the 42-yard line before he's brought down again by the safety guard between the backs, and now once more shifts them into the eye. The fullback is Edmonds. The tailback is Thomas. Holmes wide left and White wide to the right. Here's a give to Thomas again. He runs for the first down to the 45. Behind the right side of the offensive line, the zone, but they do put a lot of guys right up there on the line of scrimmage. Look at the nose guard. Those guards three yards off the ball. Here's the option play now, and a give to the fullback, and Edmonds runs up to the 50, dragging people with him into Cincinnati territory. Down to the Bearcats, 48 off the ball. Heck, run at him. I mean, it's amazing. That's what they're going to do. Give it to him again. And this time, the Bearcats stuff him up. No gain. As Edmonds trying to run off the left side. Mike, if you... Eames. Third down and three, the Hokies have not passed yet. They've run eight plays, all of them have been runs. Third down and three from the Bearcats, 48-yard line. And Druckenmiller checking off as they've got everybody up along the line of scrimmage except the nose guard, who's back about two yards. Third down and three, they're blitzing. Druckenmiller back to throw, fires to the right flat, over the intended receiver, Cornelius White, and the Hokies will punt once. And so the Hokies on fourth down and three have lined up in punt formation. John Thomas is the tech punter. He's on his own 38-yard line, and the return man, Royal, is back at the 10. Here's the snap, and the punt is off the side of the foot of Thomas. Hits at the Cincinnati 25 and rolls dead at approximately the 20-yard line. And that is where Cincinnati will back Eric Viverts, and they run out of a split eye with three receivers in the game for the first time. Viverts back to throw, being pressured. He fires it up for grabs, and it's caught at the 35-yard line. 
first down as the receiver wrestled it away. That probably would have been intercepted, but Torian Gray slipped a little bit and messed up his timing. Now they run. Kimbrough crosses the 35 to the 40 and ahead of about the foot on the Cincinnati 43-yard line. And Vibberts out of the eye, hands it to Kimbrough again, and he spins ahead back to the line of scrimmage and then dives forward for a yard. Morrison and Del Rico bring him down. And they go with a double tight end setup. Out of the eye formation on the right hash. Mark Vibberts turns, hands it to Kimbrough, and Jim Barron is there to bring him down, along with Cornell Brown. He did not get it, and it'll be fourth down. But the chain gang, that's a Virginia Tech crew. <laughs> He's short by a yard, fourth and one, and Cincinnati, you would imagine, would kick it away. They're on Worsham Field. Let's see if they try to draw Tech off sides here on fourth and one. There's the snap, and the punt by Smith, better than his first one, it's high. Larry Green comes up, then lets it go, and it's down by a Cincinnati player at about the 17-yard line. That was full of it. 6.33 to go, scoreless first quarter in the rain in Blacksburg, and Tech has it on the 17. A first down throw for Druckenmiller. A little screen to the right side, Edmonds with blockers in front of him, has it to the 30, running down the right sideline for the 40. Edmonds crosses the 50. They're in pursuit of the big fella from Nottoway, and they finally track him down at about the 20-yard line. What a play, a little misdirection. Started off left, and then the Hokies came back right, and Edmonds brings it all the way for a 66-yard. Down is penalty yardage or passing yardage, but in any event, the Hokies get a 17-yard gain out of that, and it would have been a 66-yard pickup. So now the ball is on the 34, and Druckenmiller wants to throw again, and this time he misfires on an out from the near sideline. Cornelius White slips it tough. It's getting torn up right now. 6-12 to go. First quarter, no score in the game. The backs are in the eye behind quarterback Jim Druckenmiller. Here's a give to the fullback, Marcus Parker. Runs across the 35 to the 36-yard line. Brought down by that run-and-shoot look where the linemen are all standing up. No tight end in the game. Third down and seven. There's the shotgun snap. Druckenmiller fires down the field. It's caught at the 49-yard line for a first down. That's that man, Michael Brunswick. Okie's driving from our right to our left, and the rain continues to just pour. I mean, there is no let-up in the rain. It is pouring hard. Druckenmiller on first down, gives the ball to Thomas running right, gets about a yard before he's spun to the ground by their... Okies run out of the shotgun, sticking with that three receiver look. Second down and 10, a high snap, Druckenmiller back to throw, rolling to his left, throwing, and it is caught at the Cincinnati 42-yard line again by Michael Stewie. His fourth catch of the year, his second on this down in inches. This is probably two down territory. Out of the eye, Cincinnati has 11 men on the line of scrimmage and a swarm over the ball carrier. Edmonds lost two yards on the play. They had all 11 guys on the play. Big play from Cincinnati. John Thomas will punt again, trying to pin the Bearcats in. There's the snap, and this punt may have gotten too much of it. And let's see, no, it takes a bounce at the seven yard line and sticks. I guess he knew it was wet down there. That was a beautiful shot if I could only chip. Cincinnati has the ball back again. Here's Kimbrough on a toss, trying to jump over J.C. Price. Nothing doing, and Price throws him to the ground, along with Coleman. Very often, but Tech was there. Very little gain on the play. They're going to give him forward progress for about a yard and a half. Ebert's back to throw in his own end zone, firing it deep down the left sidelines. Lad on the run has it at the 40. Across midfield, breaking away down to the Tech 30-yard line, and Banks pushes him out of bounds. Deep in Tech territory, 56-yard gain. 3.08 to go in the first. Back to throw Vibberts. He's hit as he throws, and he dumps it incomplete. And we've got a penalty marker down. 3.04 to go. Hokies took the penalty. Scoreless game. Vibberts back to throw for Cincinnati. Scrambling, throwing. It's incomplete at the 30-yard line. Trying to hit somebody coming out of the... Uh, you know, but Michigan's tough. I think Michigan gets it. We'll see that. Vibberts throws again, and this pass is deflected and nearly intercepted by Gray at the 26-yard line. Two good signs on that play. Cornell Brown again knocking down the gun. Stewart is wide right. Robert Tate wide left. Out of the shotgun formation. Vibberts back to throw, and he has his pass slip out of his hands incomplete. It almost looked like it was bad at Darry Green. Now Larry's on the 10. The rule of thumb, if you got to back up, let it go. If it's in front of you, get the fair catch. Let's see what happens. The punt is away, and Larry Green gets out of the way of it. It hits at the six-yard line, and the Bearcats will smother it at about the three. Good job by Cincinnati special teams as they down it. Two-yard line, first down and 10. Late in quarter number one against this 
goofy looking Cincinnati defense. First down run. And there's Marcus Parker running to the five, spinning to the seven before he's knocked out by Brad Jackson, Cincinnati linebacker. Good run, though. Second down, and they're going to call it five, so give Parker five yards on that. Again, Bearcats show blitz. Here's a toss to Parker again. This time he runs out to about the eight-yard line, which is the line of scrimmage running right, and they swarm all over. Third down and four now for Tech on their own eight-yard line. A minute 25 to go. A shotgun snap to Druckenmiller, rolling to his left, throwing it on the run, incomplete near sidelines. Druck was knocked down in the end zone after he let it. There he was open, would have been a first down, but now Thomas needs to get a great punt off. Cincinnati's coming for the block, but Thomas gets it away. A very high kick. It hits at the Tech 40-yard line, and it is down to the 45-yard line by Cornelius White. So Cincinnati will needs it, but not today. Bibbert's the quarterback, up under center. Patterson is the fullback. Kimbro the tailback. Ball on the 45 of Tech, and a first down run to the fullback, getting ahead for a yard or so. Price, Barron, and Holland are down at eight. The line of scrimmage is the Virginia Tech 43-yard line. Bibbert's back pedaling again. Firing, and it's dropped at the Tech 37-yard line by the fullback. Stop him here. Okies are in a zone. They're not showing blitz. And a snap that is mishandled by the quarterback. Picked up by Tech, but the officials are blowing it down. Hold on, timeout. Why was time called? Cincinnati got the timeout he was, in. He was in the shotgun. Was the referee. The ball came back to the quarterback on the shotgun snap. He wasn't ready for it. The ball popped free, and Tech picked it up, and it would have been a Hokies touchdown, but Cincinnati players never ran after the, the ball or whatnot. Boy, the Hokies. And from the Tech 43-yard line. No score in the game. 34 seconds remain in the opening period. Now Tech showing blitz. They back out of it. Back to throw is Viverts, looking left, fires left, it's incomplete. Interference penalty, though, will be coming up against Tech, it looks like. I'm not sure how that could be interfered. Right, let's see what happens on third and 24. Shotgun snap, Viverts catches with the left hand, rolling back, throwing it over the middle, it's caught at the 48-yard line, but Del Rico buries the receiver, James Scott, and Cincinnati will punt. They also have an injured. Outstanding defensive work there by the old Hokie defense. Here is the punter, Smith, on his own 34. He'll be kicking it to Larry Green. Good snap, and the punt is away. Green backpedaling, going to his right at the 14-yard line, catches it, and now begins the run back. He gets to about the 20-yard line, and he's knocked down there. I think Michael Williams through poor field position that the Hokies have had. Again, they're starting inside their own 10-yard line. Out of the eye formation, here's a running play to Thomas. He gets to the 10-yard line, carries a man with him. Out about the 13-yard line. He's knocked down there by that man. That's Philip Kerr. Kersham Field, Cincinnati. Now, it looks like a regular 4-3 defense, but now look at the right defensive end, number 90. He's back there with the linebackers now. The poor old Chris Malone, he doesn't have anyone to block down there. There's no one in front of him. The defensive end, now he's lined up. On the far right end, they're moving around, trying to trick you. On first down, or rather on second down, Thomas gets it again, and he gets back to the line of scrimmage, and they snow him under there. To the running backs to see those holes very quickly, recognize it, and try to get there. <laughs> the two guys on the left end of the Tech offensive line, aren't sure who to block. Third down, Druckenmiller, a quick drop and a quick throw, and it's caught on the near sidelines by Holmes, and he has a last second loss. Cincinnati is 0-2, coming off consecutive heartbreakers, battling here in the rain. And Druckenmiller looks to throw, and his pass is deflected, and it falls to the ground incomplete. Brad Jackson, a linebacker, as quiet as I think I've ever heard this stadium. Second down and 10, I beg your pardon. Second and 10 on the 23. Druckenmiller back to throw again, dumps it off the white. It's nearly intercepted and batted down incomplete by Fowler. Wow. As that number lit. Edmonds and Thomas between the quarterback, Druckenmiller. Third down and 10. There's a shotgun snap. Cincinnati drops into a zone. Druckenmiller lets it fly down the field at the 40-yard line. A marvelous grab for the first down by Cornelius White. Where were those hands last week? He snagged that thing in traffic. It's passing in the first half. From the 43-yard line of Tech, a scoreless game. First down and 10. And Druckenmiller back to throw again on play action. Firing down the field. Has Holmes in stride at the 45-yard line. In Cincinnati territory, and he's finally wrestled out of bounds on the Bearcat 38-yard line by Cincinnati 37-yard line. Out of the eye formation in the driving rain, Druckenmiller the snap, tosses it to Thomas. Has a cutback block and crosses the 35 down to the Cincinnati 34-and-a-half-yard line before Sam Black, the defense. You're on the roads, drive safely. 
We are early quarter number two, no score. Hokies have it on the Bearcat 34 yard line. Here's the shotgun snap from Connolly. The Bearcats blitz the throw and the catch, a sliding grab by Jennings. The tight end right in front of Garnes, the strong safety at Cincinnati 29 yard line. This is Tech's deepest penetration. The tight end is on the right and some miscommunication in the backfield as Druckenmiller resets him now. Plenty of time on the play clock. There's the shotgun snap, Druck back to throw. Steps up in the pocket, now running with the football. Has the first down to the Bearcat 25 yard line. And he's wrestled down to the 21 yard line by Ward. The defensive tackle, good decision by Druckenmiller is on the 21 yard line now of Cincinnati. The Hokies have their deepest penetration now, looking to get on the scoreboard, a scoreless game, early second quarter. Here's Thomas, the uh, rather uh, Edmonds, the fullback, slipping as he gets the ball on a hand. Second down and 10. Ball on the 21-yard line of Cincinnati. They shift their defense once more at the line. There's the snap to Druckenmiller. Looking left, throwing right, and it's right into the arms of Jackson, the linebacker, intercepted, running across the midfield strike. Down the left sidelines he goes. He'll take it all the way for a Cincinnati touchdown. Brad Jackson picked that little swing pass off, and he ran it 70 yards, and Cincinnati has taken the lead. Boy, what are you talking about a bullet? That's the same play that... Eric Richards is their kicker for extra points. There's the snap, it's low, they get it down, and the kick is airborne and good. So Cincinnati leads it 7 0. Turned an interception 95 yards. Remember, he picked it off down there on the five yard line, right in front of their locker room, and took it all the way. This series always seems to have weird plays. Here's the kickoff coming back to the Hokies, and it's fielded by Dwayne Thomas on his own 11 yard line. Running it back right, gets out of the 20 yard line, and is slid into the 22 yard line. Everybody's sliding around down there. It's like they're playing on an ice surface. Don Simpson out of Melfa. Big old boys down there. First down and 10, the ball on the 22, and now penalty markers are as given the Bearcats the lead. Their goofy defense shifts as Druckenmiller hands the football to Marcus Parker, who fumbles, and Jackson recovers. Number three, Brad Jackson recovers, and the Bearcats have it on the Tech 15-yard line. So Jackson has been the hero for since in the state. First down play, here's a running play. Orlando Smith runs, and he crosses the 10-yard line down to about the eight. It's a pickup of seven. The backs are in the eye. The tailback now is Orlando Smith. Here's a give to the fullback. Up the middle he goes, running over people. That's Shannon Scarborough. And he's inside the five yard line. The Tech defense really has their back against the wall. Need to force a field goal try here. First and goal on the four. And there goes the tailback running up the middle. That's Orlando Smith taking it into the end zone. Touchdown, Cincinnati. Boy, that was a tough run in there. And Cincinnati has scored again. Again, great field position to start this drive. By Richards, the soccer style kicker. Another low snap, and the kick is blocked as the kicker slipped as he tried to plant his foot. Ball rolls into the end zone, and the Hokies see Cincinnati try to scamper on it. It's 13-0. The kicker slipped as he tried to kick it, and got the ball about five feet off the ground, and it more or less hit Lawrence Lewis, more so than he blocked it. Now the kickoff coming down, and it's going to end up going out of bounds again. The field conditions worsen, and it's more or less they're playing well, the Tech's playing poorly, although Tech has turned the ball over twice, but even before that, the Hokies didn't have any points. Druckenmiller to throw on first down, and his pass to White is incomplete at the 47-yard line, left sidelines. The Hokies nothing with 10-21 to go in the first half. Cincinnati lines up, and, it, and again, it looks like a 4-3, and then they move around a little bit, and they give you different looks. Here's Thomas running left, and he's tripped up in the backfield by Kevin Ward, the defensive tackle, slipping right deep on the near side. Yeah. So the far right receiver's got man-on-man -man coverage. Let's see if Druck can hit him. He goes back to throw. They blitz him. He throws to White, and he can't hang on through his hands. The pass was a bit high. And the, and the costly interception. Now here's the punt coming from John Thomas. Back to Robert Tate of Cincinnati. There's the snap, and the punt is away. Tate calls for the fair catch and has it on the 22-yard line. With 9.31 to go in. Chris Lawrence is coming up at halftime with all the scores from around the USA. Well, the Hokies need Cincinnati to put it on the ground here. 
Bearcats have it on the 23-yard line on the first down run. And there goes Orlando Smith running left. He's gang tackled. Jim Barron, first one to hit him. And then the rest of the Hokie Schnucks are in the eye behind the quarterback, Viverts. There's the snap and the give to Smith, bursting up the middle to the 30-yard line and diving ahead to the 32-yard line. Good running as the Bearcats open that seam up. Block Averly Jackson now in their tackle. Right on the nose. Here's the snap and the give to Smith, and he runs right into Banks, who came up and stuck him with an outstanding tackle. Good hit by Antonio Banks to Virginia Smith. He stands on his own 18-yard line. Now penalty marker is tell you who's done a good job. Lauren Johnson in practice has almost gotten a couple of them. Number 12. Let's see. There's a high snap, and the punt is a very high kick. He got it away. Kicking it away from Green, who watches it stick in at about the 29-yard line. And that's where the Hokies will take over. Probably held under 70 yards total offense in this game. Here's the snap to Druckenmiller, rolling to his right, looks to throw, firing it on the run, and it's intercepted by Cincinnati. Jermaine Trent cutting in front of Stewie, has it at the Tech 35-yard line as Druckenmiller. Cincinnati, first down from the Tech 35-yard line. And there goes the running back. How many times they don't usually do? Big tight end, Olverson, comes in motion to the left. And they run it again. This is Kimbro, or rather Orlando Smith, racing inside the Tech 25 for the first down for the 24-yard line. Has enjoyed its uh, trip to Blacksburg so far. There goes the receiver in motion. And the running back running left is Marshall. And he's tripped up and knocked down after a gain of a yard or so. Cornell the headset's on. <laughs> Vibbert's back to throw on second down. Fires it over the middle, and it's incomplete. Right and in and out of the hands of linebacker Tony Morrison. Oh, boy, Jim Barron came up hard and knocked down Vibbert's, and that ball hit this point. So the Hokies need to stop him now. Third down. Vibbert's going back to throw. Fires. It's deflected in the air, and it is intercepted by the Hokies and then dropped by Simonis. Oh, he had it in his hand. Hunter Smith is the holder. This will be a 41-yard field goal at the goal post to our left. There's the snap, and there's the kick. It's in the air. It's got the distance, and it is good. 41-yard kick, and with 5.34 to go in the... Keep the ball out of Iverson's hands. They got a shot at beating Georgetown. <laughs> you just can't let Iverson penetrate. 7 to nothing at the half. Iona leads. Here's the kickoff by Richards, and it's a high, short one. Who's going to take it? It is Edmonds, the running back, running it out, and he ran into his own man, Raphael Williams, and got knocked down at about the 30-yard line. High and short kickoff. Well with the game. Hokies will go out of the shotgun now, and Druckenmiller now shifts into the eye and comes right up under the center. Billy Connolly, there's the snap, and the first down run. Thomas runs into one man, breaks free, and then gets across the 30 to the 31-yard line. It's only a game. Hokies are 0-8 when trailing at the half the last three years, too. So they uh, have not been a which you would call a come from behind team. Bearcats blitz and they get Thomas as soon as he gets the football. Loss of two or three. Everyone was coming. Uh, they have one on that first series with it ended in the interception. They had a couple during that, but that was early. Third down and 10. There goes the running back, Thomas in motion. Back to throw is Druck and Miller. The pass is in and out of the hands of Brad Jackson, the linebacker, and nearly had another interception. He's missed on his last five passes. He's now five out of 16. Here is the punt back to Cincinnati. Tate calls for and takes the fair catch at the 29-yard line. And with 4.01 to go, Cincinnati out of the eye formation for Cincinnati. The tight end comes in motion near side. They keep it on the ground. A first down run, and Smith crosses the 30 to the 31-yard line. That wasn't Smith for the game. Second down and nine. Bibberts back to throw. The pass is batted down, incomplete on a great rush by Tony Morrison. He came in hard, did the young man, and he blocks Evers to the right. And back to throw is Viverts. Tech is in a zone. Viverts steps up, fires it down the field, and it is incomplete again. Almost picked off. Robert Tate, the intended receiver. Yarborough and Simonis were down there as Viverts. No huddle offense. In theory, you're right. Let's see what they can do. Here is the punter, and Smith kicks it to Larry Green. This could be a returnable kick on his own 35. He catches it, but he's dropped immediately by the... He's had great hang time. All right, out of the eye formation on the 33-yard line. Let's see if Tank can put together a 67-yard drive here. First down option run. Druckenmiller running around the left side, and he's wrestled down after a gain of a yard. Looked like he was trying to pitch it, but big old John Kobalka, number 99, Cincinnati. 
Hokies really haven't challenged them deep. They've got eight men up in the box, just like Tech tries to do. They have not thrown the ball down the field much. Playing without Brian Still. Miller back. Here's a long ball. Deep down the right sidelines, and it's overthrown. Intended for Cornelius White. Mike does still being out of the lineup, make that big on third down. And on the 35-yard line, they now face third down and eight. 2.26 to go. Play action throw. Miller, good protection. Fires down the field, and Holmes dropped it. Oh, he caught it. They say he caught it on the 47. Hey, good catch. He slipped as he caught it. I thought I saw the ball pop free, but they said. Druck showed a little touch on that. First and 10 from the 47 yard line. Here comes a blitz. Drucken Miller back to throw. Fires it right side. White is there, and he dropped it. Incomplete. Good play on defense by Hawkins to break it up. Hawkins was going for receiver look. Drucken Miller rolling to his right. Once again, looking to throw. And now running with it, and he's hit hard on the near sidelines and almost late. Third and eight from the Cincinnati 45-yard line. 1.53 to go until halftime. Out of the shotgun again. Bearcats blitz. Drucken Miller steps up, hit as he throws, and it's incomplete. Intended for home. Though with 1.48 on the clock, John Thomas will punt the football back to Cincinnati. It'll be his seventh punt of the half, and this one's a high beauty. Great punt, Michael Williams and over the shoulder grab. Did he keep it in play? Yeah, he did. What a play. Michael Williams caught it and then threw it. Ball is inside the one yard line. They go with a T formation and give the football on first down to Patterson. He dives ahead for a yard or so. See Cincinnati line up now at about the two yard line. Second down and nine. And they run it again and the Hokies swarm all over the ball carrier. Did he get out of the end zone or not? Let's see where they spot the football. J.C. Price corralled the ball carrier at the goal line and threw him down, and they're saying he got outside the end zone. He fit the goal line inside the one. Third down and ten, and they run it again, and up the middle, the ball carrier gets a yard or two, and the Hokies quickly call their third and final timeout with 1.07 to go. So it Larry Greenhurt. All right, the punter is on his end line there in the deepest part of the end zone. A low snap, he short hops it, and the punt is away, but partially blocked, and it sails out of bounds on the 26-yard line. Stewie came in hard along with Holmes, and one of them here for check. Ball is on the right hash mark. Cincinnati's playing his own. Druckenmiller, who struggled this afternoon, trying to get Tech on the board late in this hand. There's the snap. Druckenmiller looking to throw. Fires it down the field to Thomas at the 20. He has it, and he slips and goes down at the 17-yard line. Hey, if the Hokies score, seconds left. Have it on the 17-yard line. Again out of the shotgun. Druckenmiller looking to throw. Fires it again to Thomas, rather to Holmes for the first down on the Cincinnati 13-yard line. Well, if Dwayne Thomas is left in the half. From the 14-yard line, left hand mark. There's the shotgun snap, and Druckenmiller back and looking. Now running with the football. Down to the 15 and 10, and he dives into the 9-yard line. Clock running down to 21. Now the ball is spotted with 11 seconds, and Druckenmiller spikes it with 8. Now 7. Seven seconds left. It is third down. There's the shotgun snap. Druckenmiller back, looking. Fires end zone. Incomplete with 3 seconds left. And so this will be the final play of the half. Larson will try to knock home his first field goal of the year. He's 0 for 1 this year, missing a 30-yarder against BC. There's the spot. It is good. And Larson's kick, however, is not good. I don't know if it was tipped or not, but it was wide to the right. And that is the way the first half ends. I'm not sure if it was deflected or if he just didn't get good footing. And the kick sailed wide right. And at halftime, the Bearcats lead it by the score of 16 to nothing. We'll recap the first half. Here's the kickoff. To Numbers on Druck, 10 out of 24, two interceptions, 131 yards. All right, Cincinnati starts with the ball, third quarter. Vibbert's looking to throw, left sidelines. This ball is up for grabs, and it is caught. A great grab by Tate to the 40-yard line. Boy, it was almost intercepted by Larry. 14, and that puts him over 100 yards. Now they run it again. Going up the middle, there goes the fullback. Stop him, let that offense get the ball back. Second down and nine from the 40-yard line. Tight end in motion right, and they run it. Orlando Smith bouncing off tacklers, going ahead of the 42-yard line. Del Rico and company there to bring him down, and Jim Barrett. Stop him, so. 
You can't always fault the offense. Those second, third guys are going to try just as hard. They're down at eight, and Vibberts of Cincinnati fires it to a wide open man, but he underthrew him. Boy, Ladd had run down the seam in that zone, but the pass was poorly thrown. Cincinnati leading 16 to nothing. Here in the third quarter, Smith, the punter on his own 27 yard line, awaits the snap. And he catches it. Hokies go for the block again and nearly get it. But again, the kick is away. Larry Green from his own 17 yard line runs it out of the 20, 25, and 30. And he's knocked down there. The 15 yard line. Edmonds is in the game as the fullback now. First and 10 on the 30 yard line. Drucken Miller to throw it on first down. And they come to get him and they sack him back of the 25 yard line. It was a play action pass. And the Bearcat rushers coming in. First possession of the third quarter for the Hokies. They shift into the I formation from the 25-yard line, and a fumble. Drunken Miller picks it up, running to his right, and he'll be sacked again back at the 19-yard line. He fumbled the snap, but it came back. Clark is number five, Whipple is number 11. They both wear Tech baseball caps, so Druck can spot him easily. He's back to throw on third and 20, and fires to the near sidelines incomplete. So the Tech offense really shoddy to start this second. Had seven punts for a 38-yard average. He needs to air one out good here. Here's the snap. They come for the block. Thomas kicks it very high. Tate the fair catch and the grab at the 48-yard line, and Cincinnati will start there. You know, Mike, the Hokies are on pace this edition with the football at about the 50. They're on their own 49-yard line, running out of the I formation, driving from our right to our left. Robert Tate, receiver, goes in motion to the right, and now the tight end follows, and they hand the ball off on a misdirection play, running around the left side is Smith, and a good play by Perrin. They track him down. It's a half a yard gain of the play, and they have a 16-0 lead. No turnovers for Cincinnati, and they had only two penalties. Now they run the option, and Viverts is in trouble, and he is tackled at the uh, line of scrimmage, the 50, by Simonis Barron in Pro West Virginia and South Charleston High School in the game now for Tech, replacing the injured Cornell Brown. Third down and nine for Cincinnati from the 50. Viverts back to throw, and his pass is incomplete. Good pressure again put on by the Tech front. That was low. We've almost seen the Hokies block two of them here today. Okisa Smith coming up the middle, nearly got the last one. Ball is on the 50. Here is the snap, and this punt is away. They're trying to angle it to the right side. Larry Green watches it hit the 10-yard line, and it's going to roll to about the seven-yard line as the rain continues. To come. First and 10 on the seven-yard line. The tight end Jennings is in the game. He's on the right. The fullback is Edmonds. The tailback is Dwayne Thomas. Williams and Holmes are the receivers. First down and 10 on the seven yard line and a running play. Thomas trying to run left, runs into El Mubarak and they gang tackle him and throw him down. No gain on the play. It'll be night at 7.30 at Castle. Update brought to you by State Farm Insurance. Here's another running play and Thomas spins across the 10 to about the 12 yard line, a gain of a yard or so. And third down and five, the ball is on the 12 yard line. Cincinnati playing that zone, although they blitz, and Druckenmiller going to try to run for the first down, and they get him, and they knock him down. That looked like a design player. Quarterback punting out of his end zone, and Robert Tate, the dangerous Cincinnati return man, waiting near midfield for the punt. Fourth down and three. 8.48 to go in the third quarter. Cincinnati 16, and Tech nothing. The punt by Thomas is away. Thomas kicks it to Tate at the own 49-yard line. Runs it across the 50 to the Tech 47. And that's where Cincinnati will take over. Corianne White makes it. do it, plus the wet conditions makes it tough. 16-0, Cincinnati leading. And on first down, here's a running play. And the ball carrier swarmed over. And Simonis finishes him off. He was able to slip ahead in about a yard or so. His last possession is back at that familiar spot on Tech's defensive end. On second down, Smith has it again. And this time he runs into Banks and Del Rico. And the two of them wrestle him to the ground. It'll be third down and six on the 44-yard line. The quarterback Vibberts in the shotgun. Tate comes in motion near side. A shotgun snap. Tech blitzes and Simonis tips the ball and knocks it down. Incomplete pass. Continues to fall here. It is pouring down rain. It has been all day. Here is the snap and the punter Smith kicks it very high and short. Not a very good punt. It's going to hit at the 27 and then roll. Look at this roll. All the way inside the 20 into the 15 and out of bounds on the... Well, the Hokies take over on their own 13-yard line, trying to come back here in quarter number three, 7.04 to go in the period. And Jim Druckenmiller on first down looks to throw, and now he's run out of the pocket, and he runs ahead to about the 14-yard line. He got about six. He was tracked down win for the old key debts. 
Druckenmiller got about six yards on that scramble. Second down and four. Get out of the shotgun. Hokies are going to set a record here for the most passes. He throws, and White has it. He's belted, but he didn't make the grab near the first down air at the 25-yard line. He's up to 27. The record under Frank Beamer is 50, set against Oklahoma by Will Fuhrer. Back to throw is Druck. A penalty marker is thrown, and his pass is incomplete. It hit Cornelius White right on the nine-yard line. 16 to nothing. Cincinnati continues to lead by 52 to go. Now the wind really picking up as the rain continues to fall. Druckenmiller, a play-action pass on first and five, and they don't fall for it again, and they sack him back on the 21-yard line. That was Philip Curry, the linebacker. Play. It is, uh, could be a record day here, at least statistically. Let's see if it works. Druckenmiller back. He looks left, still looking left. Flushed out of the pocket, now rolling left, and they're going to sack him again. A loss of a yard. That was Curry again. I had such a great preseason out of this game also, but... Truck's just not as sharp as he was, and the wet field makes it tougher. Third down and 10. There's the shotgun snap, and Druck throws it over the middle to White, and he can't hang on again at the 40-yard line. It might have been behind him. The coverage on the play was by... Certainly favored Cincinnati. Thomas will punt again, this time from the 10-yard line. It is a low snap, and the punt is away. Robert Taint, the return man, watches it hit the 35-yard line, fields it on the 28-yard line, now the run back. That's up to the 30, juking and jiving to the 35-yard line. Down the right sidelines he goes, and Lawrence Lewis knocks him out of bounds on the 42-yard line. Well, that makes it really tough. First and 10 from the 42-yard line. Out of the eye formation, Viverts hands the football to Smith, and he's tripped up and knocked down. Again, this is fine for Cincinnati. They don't... Second down and 11, the ball is on the 41-yard line, and Viverts going to throw it quickly. A fade on the left sidelines, and it is caught. For first down as Banks slipped, and the catch was made by Tate. Banks was in good shape there to break that pass up or maybe even pick it off. On the third, it remains a 16-0 Cincinnati lead. And out of the eye formation, Viverts hands the football off, and Smith crosses the Tech 40 down to the 38-yard line. Some late pushing and shoving in there between Del Rico and one of the Cincinnati players. Right, they're going with three receivers here trying to cross Tech up. Hokies thinking they're going to run it. Viverts goes back to throw. He's got a man. Fires to the right sidelines. It's incomplete. Intended for James Scott. The wide range. Although he has leg to do that, but the wet field makes it tough for footing purposes. Third down and eight. Darrell Royal, the new fullback. Viverts going back to throw. Snaps up. Fires right side. And it is caught. First down to the 15-yard line. He threaded the needle beautifully. And Hokies had gain on the play. That's the first time today they've converted on third down. And they were 0 for 10. Here's a running play, and Orlando Smith takes it up the middle. He gets a yard or so. Tripped up. Not over. There's plenty of time left, but they're in field goal range again, playing well. Here's a running play around the left end. There goes Cradle Kimbrough, their leading rusher, and he gets down near the 10-yard line before he's knocked down. Torian Green. It's been focused more so mentally than the Hokies have been. Here's another running play. Kimbrough running right at the 10-yard line. The Hokies really stick him there and knock him down. That was Simonis making a hard tackle. And Richards is the kicker from the middle of the field. 25-yard field goal attempt. There's the snap, and the kick is blocked up the middle. The hook is blocked it, and they'll try to pick it up. Michael Williams bats it forward. It's still rolling free at the 32-yard line. The Hokies have it. That's the second block kick today for Tech, and it might have been Cornell Brown. We'll go check for sure. Well, seconds left in quarter number three. Hokies have it on their own 32-yard line. Out of the eye formation on first down and 10. There's the snap and the give to Thomas, and he's run into by the linebacker Mubarak, throwing him down for a loss of two or so on the play. Georgia leads New Mexico State 24-7 at the half. Penn State has scored again. They lead Temple 38-7 in the third. Here with eight seconds remaining in the third quarter, the Hokies are letting the clock run down here, apparently, yes. So the third quarter comes to an end, but after three, it's 16-0 since... You took Penn, they're losing, Mike. <laughs> That's not very good. Second down and 10. As we start the fourth quarter, from the Tech 32 and Druckenmiller looking deep, firing into Corny White on the run, but it's over his head. Out of bounds. And it'll be third down and 10. The coverage on the play by number six, Jermaine Trent. Is this happening? Is this really happening to us? And the answer is very emphatic, yes. One look at the scoreboard tells it all. Third down and 10, and Druckenmiller, a play-action fake on third and 10. Scrambling now, looking, throwing incomplete. 
And he was eventually sacked after he let it go and thrown to the ground. Just threw the ball away. Here's the punt for John Thomas. And Tate coming over, gets out of the way of it. And it rolls inside the 25 to about the 24-yard line. On the 24, first down, and Hank Coleman coming across along with Lawrence Lewis. That was Lewis that made the tackle on Kimbrough. The last time Tech was shut out at home point after with your phone calls. That'll be following this game today. 14 minutes to go. Kimbrough has it again, and look out, there's Jeff Holland to swarm him over. He and Tony Morrison got through there. Hey, the defense has played. The one where Smith had the four-yard run, that drive started at the 15-yard line where Parker fumbled, so the short distance makes the, dis makes the difference. Third and 12 on the 22-yard line now for the Bearcats. Hokies need three scores to win. Here's a blitz as Vibberts throws it over the middle, and it is caught at the 40-yard line, and there goes the runner across the 50. Penalty marker's thrown as he scampers all the way into the end zone for a Cincinnati touchdown. Brandon Raider, the tight end with the grab, but we do have a penalty marker back at midfield. If it stands, it goes in the game. And they're sticking with the shotgun here. And it's a drop play as Kimbrell runs left into Jim Barron, who makes the tackle after a gain of two. Good play by Barron. The story, Drucks numbers 11 out of 28 for 136 yards and of course the two interceptions. Second down and seven on the 46-yard line of Cincinnati. They're just trying to run the clock down with 12.21 to go. Kimbrough runs right. Del Rico and Torian Gray knock him down. No gain on the play. In fact, maybe a happy yard line. Three today. No turnovers. They've had only three penalties. Now they face a third down and eight. Vibberts rolling to his left. Fires it back across his body. Tate wide open. First down at the Tech 45. Morrison knocked him down at the 43-yard line down in this game. Cincinnati continues to move there at the Tech 43. The rain continuing to fall. Vibberts back to throw on first down. Flushed out of the pocket and running. Gets uh, back to the 45-yard line and then he's knocked down there by Tech's Hank Coleman. It'll be a loss of two on the play. And 16-0 Bearcats. And Eric Vibberts, their senior quarterback up under the center. Letting that clock wind down. Taking as much time as he can. Now he hands the football off to Kimbrough, running across the 40, down to the 35-yard line. Tackled at the 34 by Del Rico. A little drop play there to cradle Kimbrough. The blue leads with a minute to go, and then with 44 seconds to go, or they would be 2-0. So they're used to having the lead in the fourth quarter, but they've lost both games so far. Kimbrough carries again near the first. Out of the eye formation on fourth down. Leverts the quarterback, up under the center. Long count. Trying to draw tech off sides. Still moving his shoulders, but not his head. There's the snap, and the give to the fullback, and up the middle he runs, and the Hokies are all over Eric Patterson. It depends on his forward progress. Antonio Banks comes to the left of the quarterback, Jimmy Druckenmiller. Now they shift into the eye. The line of scrimmage, the tech 34, 9.29 to go in the game. First down, play action throw, and a little flanker screen to White. He has it, but he's wrestled down at the line of scrimmage on a good defensive play by the Bearcats, Sam Black. Second down and 11 from the 33-yard line. There's the snap. Druckenmiller straight drop. There's the throw over the middle to Holmes, but he dropped it. The 35-yard line, he was open, and Druckenmiller 41 to go in the game. Virginia Tech faces a third down and 10. Okies have the football on their own 34-yard line, trailing 16 to nothing. And Jim Druckenmiller going back to pass, now rushed out of the pocket and running. 35-40 to the 44-yard line, and he steps out of bounds after picking up that first down. He went right to the marker, falling down after he picked it up. A gutty run by Druckenmiller. He's out to the 45. They've yet to cross midfield in this half, but they need to do it now, obviously, trailing 16 nothing. There's the snap, and Druckenmiller goes back to pass. Fires left. Look out. That ball's picked off. And guess who, Mike? Brad Jackson, his second of the day. He is the hero for Cincinnati. Fourth Tech turn day for him. 8.31 to go, and as if a uh, bomb had gone off, everyone leaves. First down, penalty marker thrown. Here's a running play, and the tailback runs around the left side, and he is knocked down. Tackle. They made by so they've got to regroup quickly, but still this game's not over, but they just haven't played well. Second down from the Tech 49-yard line, and Vibberts goes back to throw. Flushed out of the pocket, throws on the run. Penalty marker thrown down as well. Looked like Brown might have been held trying to get to the quarterback. Clark is on the sidelines warming up now for Tech. It looks like we're going to have a change at quarterback. 
here in this fourth quarter. Second down and 20 for Cincinnati. Long count now for Viverts. The clock is stopped, but he's still taking time off the play clock at least. And a drop play to Kimbrough. Gets to the 30-yard line. And again, the home. third down and 19. Ball is on the 31-yard line. Although, you know what? The Hokies did give him their points, but defensively, the Hokies never got it going. Here's a shovel pass to Kimbrough. And it bounces off of someone and lands on the ground incomplete. I don't know if it hit Kimbrough or hit Cornell Brown. It was rushing. Druckenbilder unable to do anything today. And Three interceptions. Has a towel on his head. A great two days. And I think he's ready for the challenge. Torian Gray will try to return this punt. Remember, still is out, and Larry Green got hurt. And the punter hits it very high, and Torian Gray on his own 27-yard line. Starts left, starts right, spinning, looking, spinning across the 30, and he dives ahead to the 34-yard line, and then dropped the football. And a big pile down there at the 31-yard line, but the Hokies have got it back with 6.59 to go. And a 14 to nothing first. Well, the Hokies still trail at 16 nothing. Cincinnati got all their damage in about a six-minute period there in that quarter in the second. Hokies run the option. Albert Clark crosses the 35 to the 40. Still going to the 42. Has a first down to the 43-yard line. A good run by Al Clark. And he can read it very well. Cincinnati playing back almost in a prevent here. 6.40 to go in the game. 16-0 Bearcats. Marcus Parker, the fullback. Dwayne Thomas, the tailback. First and 10 on the 43. There's the option again. And this time, they trip him up before he's able to make the pitch. Taking the play. Second down and 10. Ball is on the 43-yard line. Out of the shotgun now. No banks. It's what they call that empty set formation. Clark takes the snap, looking, fires, and it's caught by Holmes, giving ground, and he comes back across the 50 and gets knocked down. He was near the first down. Get some pursuit was there. 5.39 to go in the game. Okie's trying for a late fourth quarter miracle here. Albert Clark takes the snap on third and short, rolling to his right. They're coming to get him, and they've sacked him back at the 49 yard line. He had 16 to nothing lead over the Hokies. Who would have thought they'd have shut out the tech offense that did so well against BC, putting up some good numbers? Fourth down, and Clark drops back to throw. They're coming to get him, and he fumbles, and Cincinnati has it on the 38 yard line. Fifth tech turnover. Here is a toss on first down on the tailback. Running on the left side is knocked down hard by Del Rico in front of that Cincinnati bench. There's a guy still playing at a hundred teams they had, so. He knows how to coach a defense. I mean, this is a big name coach on the rise. Here's Kimbrough crushed as soon as he gets the football. J.C. Price coming across to 28. The rain probably chopped about 10,000 off the crowd here today. It's still coming down, too. Here's another running play on third down and 11. Kimbrough, the ball carrier, runs up the middle. He ran into J.C. Actually, if you force 12 punts, you win. But fortunately, the Hokies offense still has a big zero on the board. Here is the punt, very high. Hokies had 11 guys up there. This punt will go into the end zone for touchback. Up the they haven't been shut out at home since VMI beat Tech 6-0 14 years ago. Albert Clark on first down out of the shotgun snap. Fires to the right sideline. Nowhere near Stewie, who's the intended receiver over there. It's the work of, you know, unfortunately, you would think it'd be in a, the score was a reversed, but not the case today. He's back to throw again on second down and dumps it off to Marcus Parker. A good running grab at the 28, and he's down at the 29-yard line. Mubarak and Jet shotgun look. Al Clark calls the play, stomps his foot, takes the snap. Back to pass, dumps it off to Stewie on the near sideline with a blocker in front of him. He runs for the first down of the 32-yard line before he's tripped up by Chris Hewitt. One thing, almost had one last week against Kansas State. The rebuilding program of Rick Minner. First and 10 on the 34-yard line. And Al Clark drops back, looks, throws, and it's caught by Stewie at the 38-yard line. And he's wrestled down in the field of play by Garnes and Jermaine Trent. 50 and dropping back. So they'll give you the five yard out here. There's the shotgun snap. Clark rolling left, throws on the run, incomplete. Intended for White. What about the five? <laughs> I tell you what, it has gotten a little bit chilly. Third down and five. Let's check the old thermometer. That thing's not right. Third down and five. Here's a give to Marcus Parker, and he's stuck at the 40, dives ahead of the 30, or the 41 yard line. <laughs> about five minutes. Yeah, it's probably about 60 on the field, and that rain, it probably feels like 30. Fourth down and two, the Hokies will go for it here. 2.09 to go in the game. 
And Al Clark takes the shotgun snap, and his pass is batted down to the line of scrimmage by guess who? Brad Jackson. What a game he had. So the ball is on the Tech 42-yard line, and they're going to have to run some plays here. They just can't take a knee yet. Viberts will hand the ball off to Kimbrough, and he bursts free, 35-30. One man to beat at the 25, still going to the 20, down to the 15-yard line. Simone has finally tracked him down at about the 12. They're just trying to run the clock out, and Kimbrough's at a six-yard field goal. That was Tech's only chance to score. On first down, there's a running play, and that is Eric Patterson, and he's met by the Tech defense. 12-yard line, second down for Cincinnati. Edwards, the quarterback, takes the snap. Kimbrough runs up the middle of the 10, and head about the nine-yard line, 48 seconds left. You know, it's interesting, Mike, I was, we've got what it takes to go down there and win, and he certainly was prophetic. With 15 seconds left, Kimbrough runs to the 10-yard line, and Holland and uh, Del Rico make the tackle, and that should do it. The clock will run out, and Cincinnati will shut out the Hokies, getting all of their points in corner number two. As the clock winds down, the final score is Cincinnati, 16 to the Hokies, nothing. First shutout at this stadium against Tech since 1981. Bearcats 16, and Tech nothing. And this is the Virginia Tech Sports Network. See, fellas. Watch, should I go oh, go ahead, go ahead, go down. Let's test it. What do you do now, a little recap? Uh, he's going to do the recap.